and to see it on a contour map, if you guys have contour maps of your own place, look for this, wide, 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 narrow. This means it's, it's a shallow slope, it's a shallow slope, it's a shallow slope, it gets steeper. So they found the key point here, you know, and notice, notice, all right, it's on this. It's kind of like forward of it, back of it, right on it. Where is it exactly? Well, this is out of, um, that's out of Yeoman's. Mollison book shows it somewhere kind of right up in there. What is the key point? Is it one tiny point? It's kind of right around in here. There's some 1950s YouTube videos of Yeoman's. Uh, he goes out there, he hangs around with his buddies and kind of go like this, they go, mm-hmm, and they come to the stage. <laughs> That's all it takes. That's all it takes. Well, then you take this, at the key point, you make this contour line. Perfectly on contour. And this being a moving screen makes it a little weird. I'm only take it out as far as it is. Now what we do, so I'll put these markers together so they'll end up being perfectly parallel. What we do is we now go parallel uphill from that key line with our tillage pattern. And we also do the same thing uh, going downhill. Even on Yeomans' own picture, where this came from originally, it shows a huge flaw with key line design. Is the land that you have might be shaped so that if you do a purist key line program based on your key point and that contour line, as you go parallel up, you may now be making a slope that comes down here. So if this starts up at you know, 0, 10, 20, 30, 40, it drops from 40 feet, 30, 20, you know, it drops 25 feet in a short distance, you've now made a brook going down the end of your ridge. And that's not good either. And Yeomans doesn't deal with that, Mollison doesn't deal with that, any place I've ever seen anybody talking about key line design doesn't mention the fact that you will end up with lines that are too steep and you're going to be causing erosion on your ridge. Where is landscape just really gentle? That's where Yeomans got started, in a very shallow landscape and it's the oldest continent on the planet. So the landforms are very regular. They've had lots of time to settle in to about as easy and gentle as they can be. And so if this is only like five foot elevation difference on a 200 acre farm, yeah. no problems at all. We're in the driftless region of the Midwest. Who's from Missouri here? From Missouri, forget that, man. This will, this, will, this will mess up as many things as it'll fix. Yes. And part of yesterday's exercise was also to think about efficiency. If you're gonna do anything more than like a small acre, acre and a half, um, size property. We got to be efficient. When you're running your tractor, it's blowing fuel out whether you're getting any work done or not. So we'll drive all the way down here, pick it up, turn around, drive here. It's a waste of fuel, energy. It's not very efficient. We want to be effective and efficient at what we're doing. We have two constants. One is the key line, which is on contour and the starting point. The other constant is the width of the farmer's machinery. If we are covering a 50 foot strip of land with the machinery, in many cases your end point will not be on contour because of the lay of the land. And Mark has figured out a way to moderate the effect. So the question was asked, what do I mean by pushing the error to the ridge? And I'm trying to describe that and really I think the only way that we can really figure out what this is doing is by running a couple lines which we haven't done yet. If you go ahead and put your key line in and, and it's either perfectly on contour then you run a couple other lines. If it doesn't work you adjust. This one was an adjusted key line. Then you go parallel to it. We wanted to have straight across the middle of these slopes and this whole alley even. Well, so now in order to make it even, you go like this, you draw your line, so it's perfectly even, but now it's uphill, downhill, uphill, downhill along that. So wherever it's a double downhill, we scoop the land up and we raise up the berm, there's our drive through. So we do that, but then as you're coming around here, now this is a double downhill, we don't want it to be concentrating here, so we turn this into a key point pond, we scrape it out and push that material this way. So this will store extra water here before it fills and spreads out. 
and you and just gotta. And it's because the valleys are steeper at this point than the ridges are. So if you're going the same horizontal space, you're tipping further down in the valley. So that's why you got. That's a good. That's yeah. Why you got to push it. Yeah. So if you're on a flat piece of ground, they're perfectly parallel like this. But then once you start doing this number, uh, you end up with this kind of slope that goes that way. And that's what we have to bridge that. So we scoop all that around and put it that way. Yeah, you just have to run some to play with it. That was, if someone was visual, yeah. a visual picture image kind of thing, that they would have gotten that. Because I got that one, you did that, just went bing. It's a good description. Is this a key I point? can see this guy right here, man. He's still underhill. Is this Key Point <laughs> Pond in here then? This is, this is technically Key Point Pond. It's not the Key Point Pond. Right, but it's A. a. Yep. And it's not a monstrous one. It's just a little... Sometimes right here, this is all the care my trees ever got. It's just like step the weeds down. Okay.